Good evening. I'm Joe Moore. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday, the 10th of March. There are new developments tonight in the homicide of a 73 year old man in Honolulu. One of the suspects has been released from custody. The two men traveled out of Hawaii and were tracked down in California. U.S. Marshals and LAPD captured Juan Baron in Anaheim. About an hour later, they picked up Scott Hannon in Inglewood. We've learned that Hannon has been released. HPD refuses to tell us why. It all started on Monday after Honolulu police were called to Hawaii Loa Ridge at a home for a welfare check on a 73 year old man who was reported missing by his brother. His body was discovered the next day encased in concrete in a tub inside the home. Manolo Morales has more. 23 year old Juan Tejedor Barron was arrested inside a Greyhound bus that was headed from Mexico. Officials say when police arrived, all passengers were asked to get off the bus. Barron was found hiding inside a crawl space in the back of the bus near the restroom. 34 year old Scott Hannon was arrested shortly after in Inglewood, California, near the intersection of West Manchester Boulevard and South Oak Street. Officials say Hannon was released on Wednesday night. Legal experts say it's unusual, but is done when there's not enough evidence. The government cannot just hold someone in custody and continue to do an investigation in order to try to prove that this suspect did something illegal. We have to let them go. Knowledge by itself is not enough to charge or convict someone just because they knew about a crime. So there needs to be an agreement between two or more people to commit a criminal act. The victim has been identified by his brother as 73-year-old Gary Ruby. Honolulu police say Baron had an intimate relationship with him. Officials also say that the two men were living in the victim's house and living off his money. Before flying to the mainland, Baron and Hannon were seen walking around Waikiki. Hotel surveillance video was released of the two of them holding hands. Legal experts say an extradition hearing for Baron will likely be held in the next few days. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Stay with KHON2 as we continue to follow the homicide on Hawaii Lower Ridge investigation on air and online.